Isocyanates are chemical compounds, the key ingredients in the polyurethane materials we so frequently encounter in our, or use in our daily lives. Paints, flexible foam, building insulation, glues and sealant, they are just some of the products made with polyurethane. It's not surprising then that isocyanates are prevalent in many industries, including the automotive and construction industries. A fundamental feature of isocyanates is their high reactivity. Such reactivity, however, often also means health effects because such compounds have the tendency to react with our bodies. Isocyanates are accordingly respiratory and skin irritants, and there are also sensitizers. That is, they can trigger allergic response that can develop into occupational asthma. In fact, it's important to know that isocyanates are one of the leading causes of occupational asthma in industrialized countries. The goal of this second edition of the Guide for Safe Use of Isocyanates, updated based on the latest research, is a better understanding for chemical risk of working with isocyanate so that informed decisions can be made about preventive measure to reduce worker exposure. Written in a clear and accessible language, the guide answers the most frequently asked question. Among other things of the different types of isocyanates, their health effect, preventive measure, including substitution, ventilation, protective equipment, and decontamination. The guide takes an industrial hygiene approach to the management of health risk through anticipation, recognitions, evaluation, control, and communication of risk factor linked to the exposure to chemicals such as isocyanate. This user's guide will be of interest mainly to safety practitioners, those who work in occupational health and safety, and the members of health and safety committees. This update contains several new features. We have also added a short summary in bold lettering at the beginning of each chapter. Uh, highlights provide additional information on specific points, and at the end of the document is a list of all the hyperlinks. The purpose of the six case studies that close the guide is to integrate the industrial hygiene approach, the underlying theme of the guide. Based on real situations, from automotive coatings to the application of glue, each example takes us through the different steps of the industrial hygiene approach, including the gathering of information, process study, consultation of MSDS, and its comprehension and interpretation in light of basic knowledge about isocyanates. Each example also describes good practice for evaluating exposure and, if need be, controlling it.